guys, what's up? It's me, Fangbanger. In this video, I'm going to be bringing you my FIFA 13 career mode. And if you haven't seen any of the videos that are prior, you should definitely check them out. I'm being a manager and I'm managing West Ham United. And yes, I'm trying to bring West Ham United to complete and utter greatness, which I know they have not been at in gosh knows how long. I know they just got promoted back into the BPL and they're starting out their first match here against Swansea. And at first I take a look at that and I go, wait a minute, I just burned them so badly and I was wide open. Let me check and make sure I don't have sliders on. And I didn't. I don't know what it was. Uh, maybe that just happened to be a fluke. So I decided to get back into this game and we start out really strong with West Ham. Uh, getting really good work here in the box and a nice little shot there from Nolan. That I wish I could make a million times over and over again in freaking FIFA Ultimate Team. But I never get that open. He gets completely open, which is awesome. We go into the half up 1-0, which is great, although they are dominating us. Um, they've got 52% possession, and they're getting some shots on goal. They're just not going in. And I get a chance to decide to make some subs. I know I need to put some people on. I need a fresh set of legs. Still can't put in Carroll because he is still kind of injured off that hyperextended knee. You don't want to, you know, risk it or whatnot. So I go in. I start putting in my young guys like Depay, and I put in Bignon for... Nolan, I believe, so um, just trying this out, see what, how it goes, and it turns out to be a little bit scary. Um, after my first substitution, they were making a good push to get a goal, like, they were everywhere, and possibly if I was on a different difficulty, they might have made that goal. I think I'm playing a professional right now, and I'm doing pretty good with it. I mean, it's hard, I mean, it's harder to score goals than it was on the other two, but then they don't score as many goals as they should, although sometimes uh, when I'm playing maybe the harder teams, they probably will. Maybe it's just because of these. But we end up winning the game 1-0, which is a great win for West Ham. And it looks like I had subbed my keeper as well, although I usually like to keep Butlin out there. I think that sometimes he gets a little too tired and, you know, i got to change it up. Uh, got my scout, though, Dan Kane, and I decided to put him in England because that's the country he's from. So I figured that he might have a really good shot of recruiting somebody really good out of there. I think that I want him to go for some type of winger or striker. Um, so that I can get something going on because Carroll is a loaned player, so I'm going to have to probably give him back at the end of the season, although I really do not want to. Um, more than likely, I'll have to. And I decided to take y'all's advice. Um, although I wanted to do it a whole lot, I didn't know if I should because the last time I thought people were really upset about it, but I decided to go for Marvel win. And he's 26 years old. He's got just insane pace. I think he's got like 96 pace. And he's a really good center back. So I think that he's going to be a good pickup for the team. Uh, my assistant manager, I get all these, these mails, I guess they're emails. And they're letting me know. Um, they say that they would go from anywhere between 84 and 195,000. I'm like, oh my God, he's worth 325. Of course I'll go for that. They say that. You got to watch it on this game because they say that. And then they're like, oh, um, maybe not. Maybe I think uh, he's too valuable. But it looks like some of my guys have international duty. And so I'm going to have to end up taking them off of the rotation and putting them on the reserve so that they can go do their international duty. I guess they got to go play for their for their motherlands, as you would call it. I don't know. Some people might call it fatherlands, but um, <laughs> they're going to go do that. So I get them off and I put some people in. Some people are going to get a chance to play. I know that uh, there's a little young left back on there named Potts who's going to definitely get a chance to play. So Pretty excited about maybe giving those guys a couple of times to get into the game so that maybe they won't be so upset as they're sitting there never playing. And I go into pretty much, I simulate through some of this. I didn't realize as I was simulating through some things that <clears throat> you have interviews and stuff like that that you can actually do. And so I've had to like learn how to slow it down. But I go into my next match against Wycombe is what I think it is. And this is actually a Capital One Cup match. This is not... Um, in my league so I'm going here I guess this is gonna like I play them throughout the season and at some point I'm gonna go into like quarterfinals and semifinals or whatnot but I haven't looked too far into my calendar to really check it out and this was actually a much easier team to play than Swansea um, I really didn't have too much of a problem against them I think if I'm not mistaken I still played in professional so I'm having a I'm just I guess debating if I want to move it up, although, like, I don't want to make it to where I'm just, like, losing all the time. And everyone says, oh, well, if you're going to, like, play the best people online, you should play legendary or world class or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really think or I, that I agree with that because for the fact that 
people like actual humans make errors as in the ai on here if you're playing like on world class or whatever they don't make errors like they know exactly what you're going to do they're freaking programmed to know exactly what you're going to do so um it just depends on whether you want to make it interesting or you want to make it like actually really hard to do and i prefer to make it interesting so anyway we're going to hop into this game and we get a little start here i'm just working hard for the ball just like i work hard for the money um, and i get the ball right here i have jarvis running down the right wing he cuts in and he gets a pass off to mayaga mayaga i still think that's how i say it i'm not sure but he is a beast i cannot get rid of this guy this guy is super amazing even more sometimes i think than andy carroll although andy carroll is really like dominating and he has a really good shot that mayaga ooh, he just makes me super excited and I get another opening right here. I've got Nolan going for the sweet shot right there. He got a nice goal, 41st minute goal. I'm going into halftime, and um, I decide I have to make my substitutions. I make all my substitutions at half if I'm, like, dominating. Um, sometimes I'll leave the same players in, like, all the way throughout the game until close to the end. But if I'm dominating, I'll just put in my guys like Depay, who I'm trying to get some experience. I'm still trying to get him a goal. Memphis Depay, or Depay Memphis, however you want to say that. I'm still trying to get him a goal, and it's uh, not working out. But I end up winning that game 2-0. to nil. Yeah, I know what you're saying. They never score against you. Well, there are times when they're going to score against me. Trust me. But uh, it's a great start for me. Doing really well. Hopefully, that'll like show and shine for me on the international stage so that I can hopefully be a manager for one of the international teams because I would really, really like to do that, you know? Um, go through simulation, though, and I come to this point where they say they, I guess, have declined, or no, wait, yeah, they declined my offer. They want, like, way more for them. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go up on the range that I have right there. You know, I'm going to go to 175000 Maybe they'll go for that. And I think that that's going to work out for me. I go into, um, what is this, like, transfer deadline? And obviously, I'm still kind of, oh, by the way, i got to set up my scout network. Everything's going good there find out my objectives. They want me to actually just like make it to the playoffs and we go into transfer deadline, which I don't really know what that means because even after I was done with this, they still like let me like request stuff. So if you want to kind of explain that to me, I am still kind of new to the game of football. So I'm just like, what are they talking about? Because after this, I still was able to like go in and like try to ask people to take my players. But this is the transfer deadline, apparently, and I have to get win. At this point, I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, oh, my God, I have to get win. And they're like, no, we, we're going to keep rejecting you pretty much because um, he's worth way more than that. I'm like, where did he go? I'm like looking for him on my short list. I find him and I am just going to work on trying to, I guess, let the price go up. I'm pretty sure I've got a pretty good little budget left over, like 1.7 mil. So I try to at least in the middle of this little transfer thing, I want to get rid of this Yossi Binyon, Binyon, um because I've got, I want to get that Adrian guy. Like I really, the one from Flamingo, I'm really excited about trying to pick him up. And so I feel like if I get rid of him, it'll release a lot of money and then I'll have enough to sign Adrian. But I go again in my chase for win and my chase for win is pretty much really frustrating like this team is like he's so valuable to us we want so much more from him like dude i will give you like three hundred and seventy five thousand. just give them to me stop messing around with me you know this is all i want right now is the center back my center backs need somebody in there who's going to be able to replace them who's going to be able to rotate with them i want him to be like an important first team player just give them to me and there's some of these young guys that i want to put out on loan because um, they need a chance. They're not going to really get to, get to play on my team. So they're going to need a chance to go to other teams and hopefully grow as a player. And then they can come back to me and be like, you know, Jesus reincarnated. That's what I'm expecting. But going down the hours on here, that's pretty cool that they do this. How like I, I thought it was just going to be like all over once I advanced. But I tell him I'll give him 4000 if he will just come to me. Just come to me for your wage budget. You get 4000 And he says... Yeah, I'll take that. So I end up accepting him. I put him on the team. I'm going to end up putting him in the, I believe, reserves possibly. I'm not sure. Maybe substitutions. I don't know exactly what I did there. But I at one point want him to start playing, and I want him to start playing quickly. I have some guys that are out doing their you know, international duty. So it is about time that I bring him in and see if he can help me out. 
which he should be able to do. He is super quick, so nobody's going to be able to burn me. I think I'm going to bump it up on the difficulty, see exactly where that puts me. You might not see that in the coming videos because I've already played a little bit further into this for the next video, maybe two. Actually, probably just one video. So um, at one point, I'm going to bump the difficulty up and see exactly where that puts me and see if I can even, you know, like tie or maybe just win. Well, exactly have to see how that goes, but nobody, uh, nobody tries to offer me anything for uh, Ben Yoin. That's what I'm going to say his name. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. And I believe I think I wanted to look and see about getting a left back because all mine are really young. So maybe I thought about like just signing one, but I went through all of them and they were really expensive. And none of them were really like had any like shock or awe like, oh, they're going to be that amazing. They were just like, meh. So uh, I think I've picked up pretty much who I want to pick up for this season. You know, throughout the season, it might change. I'm not sure exactly like if I should like keep going after people or adding people to my shortlist. I like this Lukaku because I know there's like another Lukaku who's like a striker um, in Ultimate Team. And I was like, oh, maybe this is his brother. Maybe he'll be like really good. But he ends up not being like the best player ever. So, um, yeah, I go through this. I get win. I pick him up. The deadline has ended. And all the paperwork has pretty much been signed. So we're good to go. We've got win, guys. We've got win. That's about it, though, for this uh, episode of Career Mode. Oh, by the way, Sergio Moreno, before I go, I've got a prospect. He's 15, and he looks like he have a potential to be 94 rated. I don't know if you saw that. From Argentina. Yeah, thank my scout for that. But yeah, as I was saying, that's the end of this episode. Hopefully that prospect turns out to be something quite amazing for me. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, get fang bang, nerds.